as you say. anywhere. This has to be it. She will not be unprepared. What was that? Let me be blunt with you. After all this time, my tolerance for social graces is fairly limited. That doesn't bother you, I hope. Well, shave my back and call me an elf! Bronca! By the stone, I barely recognized you! Ogryn, it figures you'd eventually find your way here. Hopefully you can find your way back more easily. And how shall I address you? Hired sword of the latest lordling to come looking for me? Or just the only one who didn't mind Ogryn's ale breath? Be respectful, woman. You're talking to a Grey Warden. Ah, so an important errand boy, then. I suppose something serious has happened. Is Endrin dead? That seems most likely. He was on the old and wheezy side. Because nobody helps Ogryn. At best, Ogryn's need to find me happened to coincide with the needs of someone more important. Ah, you are impossible! This Grey Warden's come all the way from the surface to ask your help picking Endrin's successor! I don't care if the Assembly puts a drunken monkey on the throne. Because our protector, our great invention, the thing that once made our armies the envy of the world, is lost to the very dark spawn it should be fighting. The Anvil of the Void. The means by which the ancients forged their army of golems and held off the first archdemon ever to rise. It's here. So close I can taste it. The anvil lies on the other side of a gauntlet of traps designed by Keradin himself. My people and I have given body and soul to unlocking its secrets. This is what's important. This has lasting meaning. If I succeed, the Dwarven people benefit. Kings, politics, all that is transitory. I've given up everything, and would sacrifice anything to get the Anvil of the Void. Enough questions. If you wish me to get involved with this imbecilic election, I must first have the Anvil. There is only one way out, Warden forward, through Keradin's maze, and out to where the anvil waits. What has this place done to you? I remember marrying a girl you could talk to for one minute and see her brilliance. I am your paragon. to be my house, and they didn't want to, as you say, help. They tried to leave me, even my Hespeth. But even she couldn't understand that when you reach for greatness, there are sacrifices, as many sacrifices as are needed.
shouldn't have gone. She was pledged to me. She it swore she'd do whatever it took to find the anvil. There it was shall no be other done. Choice. Most of them were dying of the taint already. But some... Some of the women were transforming. I knew what they would become. There would be an endless supply, fresh dark spawn to test the traps. They could still serve me, let me find the anvil. It was the only way. I shall do it. Your drool is safe and dignity, fool. Very well.
Right.
saves of dignity.
The Darkspawn were pressing in. Originally, I only took volunteers, the bravest of souls, willing to trade their very lives for the chance to defend their homeland. But King Valtor became greedy. He began to force men, castless and criminals, his political enemies, all of them were to be given to the Anvil. It took feeling the hammer's blow myself to realize the height of my crimes. No! I entombed myself here to find a way to destroy the anthem. It must not be used again! No! The anvil is mine! No one will take it from me! You! Please! Help me destroy the anvil! Do not let it enslave more souls than it already has! Your people on the surface believe that some magics are never worth the price of their use. Can you not see this is one of them? Why are you listening? We had an agreement. I'm the one you came here to find, not him. Bronca, you mad, bleeding nugtail! Does this thing mean so much to you that you can't even see what you've lost to get it? Look around. Is this what our empire should look like? A crumbling tunnel filled with dark spawn spume? The Anvil will let us take back our glory! Have you no desire to discover this Anvil's potential? It is a marvel, a tool of creation. You could rival the Maker himself with this instrument. If you destroy the Anvil, I swear you will regret it. You would not dare. I would rather not find out. Fine. Destroy it if it pleases you. Thank you, stranger. Your compassion shames me. Bah! You're not the only master smith here, Carradin. Golems, obey me! Attack! A control rod? Uh, my friend! You must help me! I cannot stop her alone!
Another life lost because of my invention. I wish no mention of it had made it into history. Yeah, you ain't kidding. Stupid woman. Always knew the anvil would kill her. But at least it ends here. I thank you for standing with me, stranger. The anvil waits there for you to shatter it. <laughs> yes, excellent idea. Just destroy it now, after all this. Is there any boon I can grant you for your aid? A final favor before I am freed from my burden? For the aid you've given me, I shall put hammer to steel one last time, and give you a crown for the king of your choice. 